So, you probably didn't expect Honda, yes, the car company, to suddenly launch a reusable rocket, right? But that's exactly what just happened. And no, this isn't some marketing stunt. Honda has actually built and successfully tested a small reusable rocket system. And it's part of a much bigger story about how the space industry is quietly transforming. Let's talk about what Honda's rocket is and how it fits into this new wave of reusable launch vehicles and why this could completely change how we get to space in the next decade. So here's the deal. Honda rocket isn't some huge flashy thing like SpaceX's Falcon 9 or Starship. It's a compact liquid-fueled launch vehicle designed to carry small satellites, the kind used for Earth observation, data relay and research. What makes it impressive is that it can take off vertically, land vertically and most importantly be reused. This means the same rocket can fly again with only minimal refurbishment, just like an airplane going through maintenance between flights. Honda used a lot of its car and robotics expertise here. Things like autonomous guidance system, lightweight composite material and high precision AI control. Basically, they took what they learned from the case of making efficient cars and human robots like ASIMO and applied it to rocketry. And that's pretty smart engineering. Now, Honda isn't alone. Reusable rockets are becoming the new standard. Obviously, SpaceX kicked this off, showing the world that recovering and reusing rockets wasn't science fiction. Their Falcon 9 boosters have now flown more than 20 times each. But what's interesting is how smaller players are tackling this differently. Take Rocket Labs, for example. They started by using parachutes to recover their small electron rockets, but now they're developing something much more ambitious. The Neutron Rocket is a medium lift, fully reusable vehicle made from carbon composite and designed to launch both satellites and even crewed capsules eventually. Rocket Lab's whole approach is about efficiency for smaller payloads, bridging the gap between CubeSat launches and full scale heavy rockets. Then there is Relativity Space with the Terran R, which is 3D printed and reusable. China's iSpace, Landspace and Galactic Energy are all running parallel programs. India's ISRO is testing its own reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator, which could evolve into a two-stage system capable of delivering payloads at a friction of the current cost. And that's what makes this moment so exciting. Every company is attacking the same challenge from a different angle. But let's step back for a second. Why does this all matter? Because reusability is the key to scaling space access. For decades, every rocket launch was a one-time thing. You spend tens of millions of dollars building it, use it once and watch it burn up or crash into the ocean. Imagine throwing away an airplane after every single flight. That's what we were doing with rockets. Now, companies like SpaceX and Rocket Lab have shown that if you can reuse even parts of the rocket, you bring launch costs down by a factor of 10. Honda's goal is to go further, make a small, low-cost reusable rocket that can be relaunched as easily as sending out a commercial drone. Frequent, flexible and affordable. And the ripple effect of that are massive. When you can launch small satellites cheaply and frequently, it unlocks a whole new layer of possibilities. From global internet coverage and real-time earth monitoring to climate research, agriculture tracking and even space debris cleanup. Universities, startups and developing nations can all start sending experiments to the orbit without depending on billion dollar programs. On top of that, reusable rocket means less waste, less debris and fewer booster dumps into the ocean. Honda in particular is emphasizing sustainability, not just through cost but through keen propulsion, tech and reusability cycles that minimize environmental impact. But here's what really excites me. We are watching the convergence of industries. Automakers are becoming rocket builders. Aerospace companies are borrowing from AI startups. Space technology is merging with the kind of mass production engineering that made cars affordable a century ago. For Honda, this isn't just about launching satellites. It's about mastering the technology behind autonomous flights, precision landing, and lightweight manufacturing, which can later feed into future air mobility systems. Think electrical vertical takeoff vehicles high altitude drones and maybe one the interplanetary cargo vehicles. So where does this go from here? Honda's tests are still early stage, but the results have been promising enough that they're already talking about commercial launches by as early as 2024.
to the 30s. If that happens, we might see a world where companies can pick up between SpaceX for heavy payloads, Rocket Lab for mid-range missions, and Honda for low-cost, small satellite development. That kind of diversity could make space access as dynamic and competitive as the global aviation market. And that's when true innovations happen.